Good afternoon. This is February 2nd and trading with Teddy. It's been a couple of weeks. However, the gold market has been alive and well. We've seen about a $50 rally. I think going back three, four weeks, um, we're right up at the highs. We've talked about this before. You know, you start looking back over the last couple of years and with kind of the evolution of volatility traders, ETFs and options in the market. And then when you combine that with the fact that it just seems like gold bulls are so much more prevalent now due to like the global fear mongering that's going on. The gold bulls that have gotten sucked into these rallies, lunging after it, you know, in this case, you'd be buying into a $50 rally right here. They have just been taken out and gotten slaughtered. And it's just one of those things that you gotta be patient. These market makers and HFTs, they make a living. They put food on their table, preying on people, lunging after options, lunging after futures with the ETFs, the way the whole game has evolved. So you, you know, I can't preach to the bulls to be careful enough. You know, ultimately I do like the long side, but at some point the market does start giving you this kind of information to go off of and you just have to be disciplined and you have to be patient and you gotta be able to pick your spots. So ideally, I think we're looking for a pullback down to 1195 to 1185 or so for stepping in. Or if some of these call premiums start getting sucked out a little bit, that would be a good spot too. On the resistance side, today's high was a 50% retracement from those old November 8th highs to the most recent lows. You know, the next stop we're looking 1245, which would be a 618 retray, and then 1270. We've got strong trend line resistance coming in there from those old July highs. So that's what we're looking at. It'll be an interesting uh, next couple of weeks. I think we're going to keep an eye on the stock market. You know, obviously, if the market is able to correct. It does feel like gold wants to try and kick a little bit higher, you know, but until then, or a really weak dollar, be careful chasing up here. Try to be patient. I know it's hard. You know, if you absolutely must be in, call spreads are a good way to go. Buying uh, near to the money call, selling an out of the money, selling the out of the money call when the premiums are juiced, you know, can make a little bit of sense. And that also gives you some short-term downside protection. So as always, managing risk is rule number one. These are my thoughts and not those of ADM, ADM Investor Services, or Archer Financial Services. Thank you.